and we were awarded $800,000 to establish extended outreach and treatment. That means not just traditional treatment in our facilities, but it allows us to do more outreach into the community. As we all know during COVID, a lot of people didn't go out or still experiencing some of that where individuals don't want to come into our centers. So this allows us to meet them where they're at. If they want to do telehealth, we can do that. If they want to do in person, we can do that as well. And we can meet them in the community as well. I wanted to point out um, services that we provide in, in Amherst at the Adult Detention Center. This is a program that's pretty near and dear to my heart. I was actually one of the ones that started it. It's not only that we go into the jails and we actually meet with the inmates and try to figure out what we can do to help them to get them back on track, but we also meet them at the door when they're released. So we schedule appointments for them for any services that they, that they need, not just behavioral health. It could be medical, it could be housing, um, it could be getting linked with job services. And we start talking to them 90 days prior to release it, it, we do have to get a referral from the jail or Medico, which is a contract that the Ridge Regional Jail has with a service. And if they refer them to us, then at that point we can go and we can meet with them, we can find out what they need, and we can create those appointments prior to them getting released. We work with the jail to meet them at the door when they're released so they don't get out prior to us coming, and then we take them to those appointments to make sure that they get to them. In the Crisis Receiving Center. So this is a center, um, it's going to be about 23,000 square feet, um, 23 to 24,000 square feet, and it's going to house our emergency services, it's going to have detox again, which is a service we used to have many years ago um, and had to discontinue it. It's going to also have residential crisis services again, which is something that we used to have that we had to do away with during the pandemic. It's going to have a new service, which is a 23 hour observation service. And why that is important is because sometimes we will get emergency custody orders. Somebody's intoxicated, they're acting out. If we were able to evaluate them for a longer period of time than the eight hours, then we can actually get them to where they really need to go without tying a full officer. So we will have a service there where officers can drop the individual off, um, as well as walk-in center.